Hello, everyone. So today we have a, a very special guest to talk to you guys. It's Viviana Jimenez. She is the intake worker of Multicultural Connect Line, and she's gonna uh, she's going to talk to us. I'm going to be asking her a few questions on the services they provide for that international students can access as well. Okay. So Viviana, thank you so much for your time and for accepting our invitation. And um, I would like to start asking you if you could tell us a little about what Multicultural Connect Line is and the services you provide. Sure, yes. Um, thank you, Tatiana, for your invitation. Uh, so uh, the line is a helpline, if it is easier to understand like that. Uh, we've been uh, working now on the line for about a year and a half, and it started as an initiative to help people uh, fill in those gaps that they're not able to reach, either because of so many barriers as uh, people who come from different backgrounds have here in Australia. Um, and start, it's a free service. It's for everybody in Queensland. Uh, they can call to the 1-300-079-020. I think you will share later on those details. Um, we are free for everybody, disregarding of their visa that come from different backgrounds. Um, that is from different countries. That is not Australia. Uh, it's also to point out we can also support those ones who have what well, first generation Australians, but their parent, their parents come from a different country, um, and they're having issues accessing some services. Um, the services that we provide is more of a referral or a way to connect. We are a um, point to connect the people with the most appropriate services for them. Um, and it could be services uh, related to issues with finances, for education, employment, uh, could be visa issues as well. We can direct them to the best service, um, uh, anything. It could be absolutely anything. Uh, we've received phone calls from I'm um, having difficulties making friends to very big, deep issues with domestic violence and visa and all in a very mixed package. Um, so yes, it's, over, it's, a, it's a service over the phone. So we uh, receive the phone calls and we provide that service uh, as much as we can over the phone. If we see that someone, there's a case that is a little bit more complex, then we will do the appropriate referral and it will do, it, we call it warm referrals and it's more uh, to make sure that the client is actually going to be connected with the next service that we're going to refer to. Um, we make sure that, so, yes, go for it. <laughs> okay, uh, sorry. Uh, so um, from, from what you said, I understand that all international students who are uh, in, in Queensland, in this case here us in Cairns, would be able to contact you guys if they needed uh, for, any, for any service that you guys have available at no cost? At no cost, yes. So it's, uh, they can call, the call will be, well, that one is normally charged as from yeah. any phone call. But if you have issues with that, we just give us a phone call or you can send us an email uh, through the web page at the World Wellness Clinic. And um, and then you can that um, uh, email will get to us and we'll be happy to return your call. Um, so you can then don't have to waste money like that. I know those minutes are precious. <laughs> I was an international student myself, so I can understand that. Um, yes, so it doesn't matter and whatever service connection we do to help them connect with other services is going to be for free. Okay, awesome. And um, you were telling me before that uh, you have um, counselors from different backgrounds available in case, uh, for example, if I, I'm Tatiana, I speak Portuguese, 
and normally Latin Americans would feel more comfortable talking to someone else in their own language. Uh, so am I able to request someone uh, to speak with me in Portuguese if, if they are available? So what in, in case of uh, students in Cairns, uh, what we will do is try to find um, psychology, mental health support services for them. If there is someone that speaks their language, that's great. In Brisbane, we have uh, quite a range of different psychologists, mental health practitioners that speak different language languages. Uh, but for more, uh, for areas a little bit further away from Brisbane, it does tend to get a little bit more complicated, but we, uh, the other option will be to find a mental health practitioner that is uh, going to use an interpreter for so to facilitate the communication. I know speaking with someone in your own language is going to be easier and mental health is uh, in many countries still considered a stigma or taboo to talk about it. Um, but we try to make the best connection. We also work with other state agencies that help us with that and try to make the best fit with the client and the psychologist or the psychiatrist. Okay, this is really good. Uh, and I believe that during COVID, you guys have got like many, many more people contacting you guys due to lockdowns and all the stress from being away from home and stuff, right? Yes, yes, that is right. Usually is their mental health has been impacted because of um, practical issues. So we call practical issues the fact that as a, the a person has been able to work because the restaurant where they work has been closed during lockdowns um, or uh, they have to work extra hours and they uh, had to neglect a little bit the studies. So now they're having issues with the college um, and, and all these things starts to pile up besides all the stresses that you can get from having your family back home not be able to help or they're getting sick and you feeling very um, tired of what you can do here uh, so that's when this the mental health starts declining so we found out that what we can do at the moment besides providing the mental health support is trying to give some relief to uh, as, um, addressing those practical needs so they can rest a little bit more and see things a little bit clearer. Okay. So while you were talking, I was thinking here uh, as like I was thinking if a student is listening to you and he's going through some issues and want, I need help. So um the first thing is, um, what, when would be the best time if someone is going through some issues to contact you guys? Because sometimes, uh, I'm thinking here, students sometimes are shy and they think, no, um, I, I'm going through a hard time, uh, but let's, let's wait a little bit more. I'll try to overcome this by myself. And so they are suffering every day and sometimes it, it gets worse and worse and uh, it becomes something more complex to deal with. So maybe at this point, it's when they will maybe contact you guys. So, so do you have any suggestions or any tips for whoever is watching you and going through some issues? Uh, when is the best time for them to contact you? Yes. Um... Look, it, it will be at any stage that you start feeling that things are getting a little bit more difficult than normal. Um, if you, for example, you are, um, the number of hours you're given at work are getting reduced and it's coming the time uh, of the month that you have to pay um, college plus rent and the services and you have no idea where you're going to get all that money from, that's the time that it will be good for you to contact us or for anybody to contact us. Um, it's definitely 
I, I will have, I know we've had the experience of people who have left the pile up partly because they're not aware of the services that are that many organizations like us, we, we provide. And there's also this fear. As an international student, I remember when I arrived, I was so afraid of asking help because I felt I didn't have that right to ask for help. Like I, I felt like I was in debt of Australia and receiving me here. So I shouldn't be disgraceful. Let's put it that way. So yeah. I was very afraid and I didn't know, like if something like that would have happened to me, which happens sometimes, um, I would have know what, where to go. Um, usually there's friends you ask support to, and those will be usually your first ones to tap into. Uh, but if you feel like sometimes you feel a shame of asking friends about that support because it's money and you tend to be so precious about that money at that stage. So it's just reach out. There's so many other services um, that perhaps they're not aware of. Um, we are one and we can connect to many others. Just kind of like a brief, like a brainstorming. There's VDs or salvos that you tend to associate, oh, that's just a secondhand shop. They do so much more for you. And uh, we tend to go to those ones as well or suggest those ones as well. So try, it's just try to think that you, that you are in a country that helps a lot of people, that they're not um, uh, waiting for you to give something back all the time. If you're in, you're in, in need, if you're stressed and you feel like you cannot cope, Australia, fortunately, is being equipped and is getting better in helping people with uh, many issues and getting better reaching out to the multicultural communities as well. Awesome. That's, that's really good to know. Um, so how can they, so um, let's imagine one students, they are going through all um, that you have just said. So they have all the stress at uni or at the vet school and they are, you know, their hours are reduced at work. So they want to reach out for help. What should they do? How can they contact you guys? Yes, so we are open during the week from Monday to Friday, from nine in the morning up until 4.30. You can either call us, um, there's uh, the number 1-300-079-020. And there is also the webpage at the World Wellness Clinic. We are located in the World Wellness Clinic. So there's at the top of the webpage of World Wellness, there is a little link that says Multicultural Connect Line and there's the phone number. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to try to share my screen here so we can see um the the website just hold on can you see it yes yes okay so this is the world wellness group website right so it's um worldwellnessgroup.org.au right so they need to get to this uh, page and when when they get here what what they should do so if you see at the top it says connect now, it comes in different colors, connect now, multicultural connect line and the phone number 1-300-079-020. If you do click there, there you go. It takes you to the multicultural connect line webpage. Um, and if you scroll down, uh, that's, it says refer yourself. That's just a way to say, I want to talk to you basically. Um, okay. Yeah, there's also service provider referral. There's for um, GPs or any other practitioner that would like, that has been in contact with you and would like to refer you to us. Um, there's just basic uh, details that you just need to put in there. Uh, if you need an interpreter, just let us know uh, which language do you want us to get for you and which is the best time to contact you in the day. 
Um, if it is multiple days, anytime, you just click in all the boxes. Um, and then we will get back to you. What happened there is that that uh, is, is transferring to an email and we receive that email. Um, if it's done during the weekend, then the best time we will get back to you uh, will be on Monday. Uh, so we'll be contacting you on the Monday. If it is on the same day, we will contact you on the same day um, and start talking to you. Um, we have at, in the line, uh, in the helpline, different a few. We I work with more of my a few other of my colleagues. We are four or five in total, five six. Sorry, <laughs> and we all speak different languages. So in my case, I speak Spanish. Uh, there's um, uh, Burmese, uh, there's Dari, there's many other languages as well. So, um, yeah, it will be easier to try to find someone that speaks uh, the language. And if not, then we will get an interpreter. Awesome. Okay. So if we go uh, down here, uh, it seems there are more information there is more information in different languages people can access? Yes, so that's uh, just a little bit more of information that what you saw there um, and comes in different languages. You can either share it or if you don't understand much of uh, what we are of it, what we provide then you can have it there in your own languages. Um, those are the languages that we most have calls from, so that's why those are there. Um, but we're planning to extend to as many languages as we can. Okay, awesome. All right, Viviana, I was just thinking here of uh, this last question. Uh, so you're going, uh, when we receive the request, you're going to call um, them back, right? So this is gonna be a contact over the phone. Is it possible to make it uh, through Zoom, for example, if they want to have like sort of like face-to-face -face, uh, interaction? Sure, yes, yes, absolutely. We do, we can do that. Um, if it's, yeah, I can understand. Sometimes it makes it easier to, to see the person. Uh, and sometimes it's better to communicate with the hands as, Latinos yeah. do. Yeah. <laughs> I know um, that. <laughs> so um, yeah, yeah, for sure, it can be it can be organized. Uh, it's not a problem. Um, you, we just have to get organized ourselves here in the helpline with the other colleagues to make sure their phone is always uh, at, uh, someone can attend the phone. Um, and yeah, yeah, it can be organized. Awesome. All right, so. Uh, well, this was really, really interesting uh, information that you have shared with us. Uh, and I just want to thank you so much for um, helping us understand a little about these services. I'm sure this will help students a lot here in Cairns. Um, we have had uh, many, many, many students coming up to the Student Hub during these last like one and a half years with all kinds of, you know, uh, issues, looking for different kinds of services and help. So we are gonna be sharing with them this, um, this uh, video on our page. And I'm sure this is gonna be one more, um, you know, place they can reach out if they, they need to. Yeah, absolutely, yes. Uh, anybody, even those, even the ones that, the students that are on the bridging visa, while you have extended even them, even without a visa, like it doesn't matter if you don't have a visa, if you feel like you're in limbo land, <laughs> the way we call yeah. it, you can reach out. Uh, you're not alone, definitely not alone. Wow, this is awesome. So they don't need to give you like the insurance, health insurance card or anything no, like that? No, no. Oh, and that's the other thing. We are not connected with the government. There's... Um, I call it, it's a myth that somehow if you reach for mental health support or any kind of support, the government will know about it and somehow it will go and impact uh, later on your visa. If you want to extend your visa, no, 
there's no connection whatsoever with immigration department. Um, we, the only moment that we have to release information is if someone, if the client is at risk, if her health is at, is at risk, or there's someone else around them that might be at risk, that's gonna be the only way that we have to release information. Otherwise, it's totally confidential if you don't want to, put your name down, you can also understand that and will become an anonymous client and uh, we can invent a name and go, go from there. So yeah, it's not connected to the government at all. <laughs> wow, that's, that's really interesting. I know that many students are afraid of asking for help because they are afraid of having their names somehow you know, connected to mental health issues they are going through or other issues. Mm -hmm. And this make, make uh, in the end, more difficult for them to, you know, get a visa or continue their studies. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. not connected at all. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Viviana, thank you so much for, for your time. And, um, and we definitely are, are going to be sharing with the students uh, about your services and uh, this will be a great help for them. Great, yeah, I cannot wait. Everybody to call, please call, doesn't matter. <laughs> awesome, thank you so much then. Thank you Tatiana for your time.